ABC 10 News at 11 starts now. Coronado High School's head basketball coach fired just two days after his team won the CIF championship, but it's what happened after the game that got him canned. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Lindsay Pena. We have team coverage tonight. We begin with ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano with what happened at tonight's special board meeting at the Coronado Unified School District office. 17 speakers made their cases tonight and after listening to them and looking through the CIF code of ethics as well as the CUSD discipline action guide, the trustees made their decision five to zero to let go of Coronado High School head coach JD Law Perry. <laughs> Coronado High School students hurling tortillas toward Orange Glen's predominantly Hispanic basketball team. The incident sparked an emergency special meeting Tuesday night at the Coronado Unified School District. We have much to learn about racial diversity, and I hope to do some of that tonight. Coronado's team captain Wayne McKinney weighing in, saying he truly believes his teammates didn't have any racist intentions, but understands the implications. You have to be kind of sensitive to what, how they believe it looks, and you know, throwing those tortillas, you know, at a predominantly Hispanic school, it doesn't look good. You kind of have to look at both perspectives, you know, because if I was, I'm a black man, you know, if there was, I was at another school and somebody was throwing stuff that seemed racist, if they were throwing bananas or throwing watermelon, you know, I'd be pretty upset. Coronado's head coach. J.D. Law Perry, who was seen exchanging words with the Orange Glen staff after the win, issued an apology tweet following the incident, saying, quote, Unfortunately, a community member brought tortillas and distributed them, which was unacceptable and racist in nature. I do not condone this behavior. Some members of the Coronado community expressed their disapproval of the district and superintendent, saying they were too quick to issue their statement Sunday, condemning the tortilla incident without knowing the full story. Sir? You jumped the gun. You caused a myriad of issues for our boys, including death threats. You didn't give the boys, who by the way, just won your school district a prestigious title, the benefit of the doubt before throwing them to the wolves. But after listening to 17 speakers, district trustees made their decision. And a vote of 5-0 was to release our head coach. Orange Glen's assistant coach Brian Gallo believes they did the right thing. I mean, it's unfortunate you never want to see anyone lose their job, but I think when you're a leader of student athletes and young men and you conduct yourself in that manner, I, I don't think there's any place for that. District staff told me it may take up to three weeks to get the full investigation done by the CIF and the Coronado Police Department. In Coronado tonight, I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. Also tonight, the 